of the Triple S Veda Challenge. And uh, it is the topic tonight is eating in or eating out. Hey there, Kim Turner. How are you tonight? My lovely wife has joined me here in the Periscope Lounge, or should I say the Poliscope Lounge? Anyway, we're going to talk about eating in or eating out, and I'm sure my wife will uh, be chiming in on this. Uh, because uh, she likes both. Uh, let me start off by saying that my wife is an excellent cook, and I was going to say that anyway, Kim, by the way, just so you know, uh, whether <laughs> uh, I thought this would be interesting to hear. Well, there you go. Uh, I was going to say, first of all, that my wife is, uh, well, uh, you know, uh, yeah, she says, sure. <laughs> uh, do you have a Periscope lounge? I do. I am in the Periscope lounge here, Logan. That's where I'm at right now. Juicing. <laughs> Anyway, eat in or eat out. First of all, my wife is an excellent cook, uh, and uh, so eating in is not terrible. There are people who eat out because uh, their uh, wives are not very good cooks, or uh, they're not very good cooks, or they just don't cook very much at all. You know, the people, you know, as people get older, like my in laws, uh, they tend to eat out a lot. Looks like a dining room. Well, I am in, it, yes, Logan, but it can also be the lounge. If you look inside the box here, this is the lounge right here. Yesterday was my man cave, so that could be a lounge. Um, anyway, I don't have enough money for a set to do that yet. I'll do a lounge one of these days. Uh, but anyway, uh, so eating in. So when we're eating in, my wife, yes, please give. Hearts are great. Thank you. Um, if you'd like to give hearts if you hear something. But let me ask you a question. Uh, eating in or out, uh, I want you to go ahead and give me a one if you like to eat in or a two if you like to eat out. One for eating in, two for eating out. Which do you like? Please go ahead and respond. A 12, Logan, that's a 12. That's not a one or a two. That means you like to either eat human flesh or I don't know what that means. One, two. So number one, if your choice is, you're saying, Logan, that your choice is number one, uh, you would eat in and number two, you would eat out. But your first choice is to eat in. Okay. Well, what anybody else want to vote real quick? Uh, my choice is to eat in normally <laughs> human flesh. Okay, great. That's awesome. <laughs> I started something there. Okay. Uh, could be two. Could be 2.1. Okay. All right. Or two, or, or two and one. All right, Logan. Anyway, uh, so when I eat in, my wife does a great job of cooking. She has some great food that she likes to whip up for us. Uh, she just cooks all kinds of awesome things. She does uh, Mexican super well. Uh, she does um, beans and rice. Man, she cooks some mean beans and rice. Uh, I do like that uh, with sausage and all that kind of good stuff. So eating in, if I know my wife's cooking, I don't say to my wife, hey, let's go out and eat. I like my wife's cooking. So let's get that perfectly straight. Um, but uh, if I do eat out, by the way, um, what is, let me ask this question real quick. Where is, if you do eat out, where is, before I share my, uh, what I like to do eating out, what, where do you like to eat out at? Does anybody have a favorite restaurant where you're at? Uh, maybe it's a local joint uh, in your neighborhood. Ah, yes, Kim Turner, the bright star. Of course you do. I only like to go there when I'm with you, baby. That's all That's all I can tell you. Uh, anybody else have a favorite place you like to eat when you are out? You like to go out to eat. Is it fast food? Is it a sit-down place? Where do you like to eat when you go out? Anybody? Come on. Well, let me do this, too. While I'm, while I'm waiting here for answers and responses, I just want to show you I'm going to show you the inside of our refrigerator. I know Kim Turner would like that that we're looking at. Uh, I do like a sandwich. So my wife keeps us uh, with the sandwiches uh, pretty much. Oh, Chinese place in Pleasant Grove. Okay. Logan, I see that. Uh, but anyway, we've got some stuff here. There's some nachos, my wife. My wife makes some really good nachos, uh, chicken, chicken nachos. Um, we have some stuff down here. We like to have, let's see, some pita. Uh, feta, excuse me, not pita, feta. Okay, we got some uh, pepperonis here. Uh, my daughter made some pretty good uh, little um, French bread pizzas with those the other night. Those were good. My daughter's a pretty good cook. Um, let's see, we got bacon. Uh, we got some salsa. You can tell my wife's been out of town. Uh
just because I haven't bought a lot of groceries. Uh, but that's, you know, I like leftovers myself. So if I, if I, if I am uh, in, eating in, I do not mind eating leftovers because usually I can put something together. Uh, anybody like leftovers, by the way? Do you like to just like put concoctions together? Just give me a little, give me some hearts there if you like leftovers. If you like to make leftovers, if you like to make your own concoctions. Okay, a couple of hearts there. It's probably for my wife. Thank you, baby. Um, anyway, I like leftovers. But let me tell you a few places I like to eat when I eat out. I do like to eat at the Bright Star. I do like to find new places. There's a place in our town called Boateng's, which does Cajun cuisine, Cajun food. And it is, God, it's so good. Um, Cajun food, definitely like that. I mean, they give you like a bowl full of, like when you order dessert, it's like not like a little plate. It's like a bowl of dessert. It's like a bowl of ice cream with stuff. Huh. Periscope sponsor. How about chitlins? Well, chitlins aren't bad. I don't know if they're Cajun. Are, are chitlins Cajun? I don't know. Uh, my wife says Waffle House. Yes, that is a great guess. Uh, pig feet. I've never had pig feet. I like grits, though. The other day, let me tell you this, though. I do like shrimp and grits. And uh, shrimp and grits, I had that at a place called John's Diner. I like watermelon. Watermelon's good. In fact, we might have some watermelon. I think we have some watermelon right here. Yep, watermelon right there. Baked potato. Um, how about grape soda? I do like grape soda. I like cream soda better, but I do like grape soda. Uh, anyway, John's Diner in Birmingham is a fantastic place. I had shrimp and grits there. It's pretty good stuff down there. Uh, Boateng's. Waffle House. Um, I try to stay away from fast food these days. I'm not big on the fast food, except for maybe breakfast. Um, I do like a place called D's Tamales. D's Tamales is really good. They have really good um, uh, wings there. They got good burgers. They got everything good there. D's Tamales in Hueytown, Alabama, which is a suburb of Birmingham. Also, I would say there's a new place in Pleasant Grove called Corey's. And uh, they have a mean... Uh, uh, turkey sandwich, BLT type thing. That's really good. Um, and then also, um, let's see what else is over there. I don't know. That's, oh, and there's, of course, there's a place called Speedy's, which if you want some really good nachos locally, it's a pretty good place to go. So anyway, those are my places to eat out. I do like to eat in. My wife is a fantastic cook. Uh, I love her cooking. I love you, baby. And she's out of town at the moment, so I miss you. Can't wait to get home. And can cook some food for me. Thank you, baby. Anyway, anybody else, local places you like to eat? Give you a last chance to chime in here before we call it a night. But what do you like to do? Where is your favorite place to eat? Anybody? Local places, chains. Um, I tell you what, I did eat out in California one time. I had the In-N-Out Burger. That was pretty good. If I had an In-N-Out Burger here, that place might go out of business. I might buy, buy that out. I'll tell you something I used to really like. I used to be a Burger King in town, and that was the time when they had the sourdough burger. God, I wish they'd bring that thing back. Is there any food that you wish people would bring back, like fast food places that you'd like totally eat? Have you been to the Chinese place? Yes, I've been to the Chinese place, Logan. I have been there, and it's pretty good. It's not like, you know, it's like a normal Chinese place. It's nothing fantastic, but it's decent. Decent place. Um, there's some better Chinese places in town. Sticks is okay. Sumo's is good in Hoover. Um, that's about it. All right, guys. Well, that's about it for the night. Yes, for sure. Uh, that's it for me for the night. Uh, I hope I hope that uh, you enjoyed this little time together where we talk about things that we like to eat. Uh, and I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. Uh, I think it's, um, nope, I have no idea what's tomorrow. So anyway, just join me for tomorrow for Periscope. If you're watching this on my YouTube channel, by the way, I hope you've enjoyed these little uh, VEDA challenges, which is blogging every day in August, uh, where I post up a video where you get to know me a little bit better and hopefully I get to know you. So if you're watching this on my channel, please go ahead and leave me a comment down below of where you like to eat. Do you like to eat? eat uh, do you like to eat out? Do you like to eat in? Do you like leftovers? Uh, feel free to just leave me a comment and uh, tell me what you got going on. Uh, also, one last little thing here. I just finished tonight. Uh, for those of you that are youth ministry folks, uh, I just finished episode one of the Youth Ministry in Motion podcast. It is a full episode, episode zero. If you go to SoundCloud, uh, you can find it there under Youth Ministry, Youth Ministry, or you can find look for my name or the D Project there, uh, and you will find the Youth Ministry in Motion podcast. 
podcast if you're interested in that. And I talk about a lot of different things. I'm about making digital disciples there. Um, so anyway, uh, that's it for tonight. Uh, be sure if you're on my channel here on YouTube, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button right here. And that will get videos like this in your inbox on a regular basis. And, uh, and of course, if you're a regular watching uh, today, thank you so much for hanging with me. Uh, leave me a comment and let me know what you like to do. Eat out, eat in, do leftovers. Leave me your favorite place you like to go. And uh, we'll start a little conversation about that. All right. All right. So, uh, Kim, thank you, baby, for hanging out with me a little bit tonight. I hope that you're doing well, and I will see you in a couple of days. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Have a good night. Bye.